Good day everyone, I'm Eleanor T. Gonzalez of Dresden Monetary City National High School. So the title of my action research is Impact of Flip Classroom on the Mastery of Identified Competencies in Grade 8 Science. For the rationale, the public school has traditional way of teaching which is done by lecturing and then assigning students to work using their textbook and perform other sets of activities outside the classroom premises. This scenario sounds in contrary with the flip learning developed by Baker 2000, who had a study titled The Classroom Flip, using the web course management tools to be the guide by the site. In flip learning, lecturing is done at home through online and offline video designed or pre prepared by the teacher. The present study took into consideration the conditions of the public school in implementing flip learning, specifically since the study showed that flipped learning has been usefully practiced in science subjects as evident in the cited literature, this action research proposed an instructional design which may fit the context of the public school. So the science for grade 8 would be subjected to flip since the researcher has been teaching science in the, say, in the said grade level. For the action research question, this question research generally answers the questions. Does the flipped classroom in grade 8 science impact the mastery among the students of the identified competencies? Specifically, this action research answered the following question. What is the pretest score of the student from the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in grade 8 science? Second, what is the post score of the students from the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in grade 8 science? And the third one, what significant difference does, does exist between the pretest and the post-test scores of the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in grade 8 science? Then for the research hypothesis, there is no significant difference in the pretest scores and the post-test score among the students of both the flipped classroom and the identified competencies in grade 8 science. For the proposed innovation, intervention, and strategy, this action research proposed an instructional design called Flip Learning, which was specifically designed for grade 8 science. The competencies with which this study aimed to be mastered by the student are the following. First, illustrate how diseases of the digestive system are detected, prevented, or treated, and identifies helpful practices that affect the digestive system. Why these competencies? Because based on the experiences of the teachers handling the biology classes, these competencies are too complex to discuss by the students and which require instructional videos to better aid understanding of the concept. The intervention was used for two sessions, with one competency each session. Each lesson lasted for 60 minutes and prior to the lesson and before coming to, to class, the students were asked to watch the instructional videos on the topic at home to ensure that they already know the topics to be discussed in the classroom. Meanwhile, during the 60-minute lesson, the following schedule was followed. The 10 minutes is devoted for preparation of question by the students. The 20 minutes, the researcher facilitates discussion and gives instruction for application activity. The 20 minutes students perform the application activity and the last 10 minutes will be devoted for taking the post test and then afterwards the researcher provide instruction for the next homework or the activity. The action research method. Letter A, the participants or other sources of data information. The participants of this study were students from grade 8 class, section Masunurin, composed of 60 students. They were chosen because they gained low MPS during the third quarterly examination. Since all the participants were minors, the researchers sought parental consent through an informed consent form for minors. In, for data gathering methods, the class was pre-tested with a 10-item test before each session. Their existing knowledge of the lesson was noted. Afterwards, the lesson proper pursued. The class was taught using flipped classroom for the two sessions. 
After the lesson proper for each of the two sessions, the students were given a 10-item post-test to check how much the students have learned the lesson. The study used pre-test post-test, one group design, in which there was only one treatment group that was given a pre-test, received an intervention, and then was given a post-test. The statistical te techniques were used by the researcher as, are as follows. To determine the result of the pre-test and post-test scores of the students, data was analyzed using descriptive statistics such as frequency, count, mean, SD, and MPS. And to determine the effects of the flipped classroom intervention, where the test was used. So the result and discussion for the statement of the problem one. What is the pre-test score of the students from the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in grade eight science? So the number of students before exposed to flipped learning is 60. The mean is 5.65, the standard deviation is 1.74, and the MPS is 56.5. So the diagnostic score reveals that the students got a mean score of 5.65 with MPS of 56.5%, which means that there is a need to conduct intervention program. The statement of the problem one, table 1.2. The present result on the respondents on the competency identify helpful practices that affect the digestive system. So the diagnostic scores revealed that the respondents got a mean of a score of 4.2 and MPS of 42%, which means that there should be an intervention for grade 8 students to improve the mastery on the said competencies. For the SOP2, what is the post-test score of the students from the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in the grade 8 science? So the table shows that the respondents got what is the post-test score of the students from the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in grade 8 science. Okay. So the respondents were taught in the flipped classroom obtain a mean score of 8.57 on the competency illustrate how diseases of the digestive system are detected, prevented, or treated. The results show that the post-test score of the graded student taught in the flipped classroom is remarkably higher than the pre-test result. Okay. In a statement of the problem three, what significant difference that exists between the pre-test and the post-test score of the flipped classroom in the identified competencies in grade eight science? So based on the table, okay, since that the computed value of P value is 2.07, it's a way lower than 0 0.05 level of significant. It should be noted that there is a significant difference in the performance of the graded student in their pre-test and post-test. And there is also a remarkable improvement in the master of the student of the competency illustrate how diseases of the digestive system are detected, prevented, and treated. So in table 3.2, it shows that there is also a remarkable improvement in the mastery of the students of the competency in identify helper practices that affect the digestive system. So therefore, there is a significant difference in the performance of graded students on their pre-test and post-test. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected. Okay. So for recommendation, in flipping, students' note-taking skills should be assessed and then taught. Listening and watching lecture videos require them to be good in note-taking skills. A learning log or template should, be, should also be provided to them while watching the video. Learners' profile and capacity to have an access on the internet should also be considered since not all students in the public school could afford to have an Android phone with internet access. And then for the teachers, proper training on flipping is required to implement the approach properly. And these are the references used by the researchers. So thank you for listening and good day everyone.